Cash Chase Stars of DroidModRX.com, and as many of you know, Verizon has finally released the over-the-air Jelly Bean build for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Some of you guys that have updated that already have noticed that you've lost root, and the previous methods for rooting no longer are available. They no longer work for the Galaxy S3 because it's all been blocked by Verizon. Very convenient, I know. Uh, but there is another method, so this guide will be how to root official over-the-air jelly bean on the Verizon Galaxy S3. Now one way that you could have kept it if you would have been thinking about it is you could have used Voodoo's over-the-air root keeper. So that's still an option if you haven't updated yet. Uh, if you're like me, you were probably on a custom ROM and you were already, like for me, I was on a leaked rooted version of jelly bean. It wasn't official so there was a little bit, you know, there were some things there that just weren't meshing correctly. Uh, but anyways, the way that I got to this build was I flashed the stock image, so I flashed all the way back to stock, and then I accepted the over-the-air upgrade, and of course I lost root in the process. So we're going to go ahead and root the device. Okay, so before we get started with the root process, I'm going to show you guys what version of Android we're running. We are on the official over-the-air update Jelly Bean 4.1.1, and let's see, the build number is JR03L, uh, and then VRBLK3. So that is the latest over-the-air official version. So we're just going to go ahead and root. Uh, so what you'll need to do is grab all the files from the link in the description. You're going to need the VRALEC bootloader chain. You're going to need that downloaded to your computer. You're going to need the super user and bootloader unlock zip file on your phone. So that would be on your SD card on your phone. You're going to need the custom recovery downloaded to your computer and the VRBKL3 boot chain also downloaded to your computer and you'll need Odin installed. So if you've ever flashed back to a factory firmware or if you rooted in the past you probably already have Odin installed. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is boot our phone into Odin mode so we'll power down. So you get into the bootloader mode we're going to hold volume down, home, and power all at the same time. And when we see this screen, we're going to hit volume up and then connect that to your PC. Okay, so I have all my root files stored into this note to root folder that just makes it easy for me. Uh, so we'll open up that folder and we'll open up Odin. And we want to uh, make sure that our phone is connected by checking the com box here. Just make sure that it sees your phone and then you'll check PDA and open up your PDA file. Uh, we're going to head into that Note 2 root folder. Actually, we're working on the Galaxy S3, but I dropped them into this folder just so it would be easy to, for me to find them. First thing you want to flash is the VRALEC boot chain. So we'll go ahead and open that, give that a few seconds to load, and then we'll click Start. Okay, when your phone boots back up, you'll power down. And then boot back into Odin. We're going to run another file in Odin. So go volume down, home, and power. Okay, now this time you want to make sure to, uh, we'll close out of Odin, open Odin back up. This time uncheck the auto reboot. Go back to the PDA. This time we're looking for the Clockwork mod or either Team Win Recovery Project, whichever one you decided on. So we'll just select that. And as soon as it loads here, we'll click start. This is going to flash the recovery, so we'll start it. So this time we're going to, as soon as it finishes, so when it says reset and Odin, we'll go ahead and pull our battery and we're going to boot into recovery. So we'll pull the battery. And then this time we're going to go volume up home and power to enter into recovery. Okay, so in Clockwork Mod Recovery, we're just going to go to Install, choose it from SD card, go to your download folder where you have downloaded it, and you're just going to flash the Super SU plus the bootloader. This is going to unlock your device and root it, so we'll go ahead and flash that. So now we are unlocked and rooted and we have custom recovery, uh, so we're going to go back and reboot the system. Okay, so here you need to make sure that you do check yes, disable recovery flash, otherwise it's going to flash your stock recovery. So go ahead and select yes. 
Once we're rebooted, we're going to power down the phone by pulling the battery and then connect it back to Odin. And now we just need to restore the JB boot chain. So we'll go ahead and pull the battery here. Boot back into recovery. I'm sorry, back into Odin mode. Volume down. Home and power. Volume up. And just plug it in and we'll go back to Odin. Okay, so this last step is optional, but if you want to be completely stock jelly bean, you need to do this. Uh, so we'll go to PDA, and this time we're flashing the VR BKL3 boot chain. Click start. As soon as it flashes, you will be completely done. Now you're rooted, unlocked, you mm -hmm. have custom recovery, you're ready to flash ROMs again. Guys, you can check more of me at droidmoderx.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. If this video has helped you in any way, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You guys, a very highly requested video. This will be my Galaxy Note 2 versus Droid DNA video. I'm